Madam Chair Person, my name is William Driver from Denny Speakers Club. The title is Getting the Job Done. I ask you, what have you, what have you and you accomplished today? Are you satisfied with your day's work? Good. I see a few nods, heads nodding. But tell me, have you had other days where you've been frustrated? You went to bed and wished you hadn't got up in the first place. In fact, sometimes you're near tears through the frustration. Has that happened to you? Yes, I can see it. Now, today, what you've got to look at as a challenge. When things go wrong, You've got to change it. You've got to look for the opportunities that can be made from these challenges that have gone wrong. You've got to do a little bit extra. Get up in the morning and before anyone else is about, have some quiet time. Don't go for the cup of tea or the coffee. Don't go for the breakfast. Write down everything that you want to accomplish. Now, we all think of long-term goals, but really long-term goals are away in the distance. But if we make it short-term goals, that can make all the difference to your long-term goals. Once you've got a list made up, prioritize that list and make sure Right at the top is the most important job that's to be done. And work your way through the list. Now today, we have an abundance of junk mail. You've got World Wide Web, information overload. You've got your emails floating through the air. And there again, you've got problems because it's overload. How are you going to overcome such an enormous amount of paperwork? Well, I've got the answer. Quite simple. Get yourself a course on speed reading. Now, lots of people say, it's junk, just bin it. But in those junk information packs, there's nuggets of gold. And I can give you an example. I have for free, a flight from Edinburgh to Paris and back. Now, if it had been left to my wife, guess what? The junk would have been in the bin, and we would not have had the golden nugget. So think about carefully what can be done. You can have your mind razor sharp, like a beam in the dark, picking out the nuggets, if you go for a speed reading course. Also, I suggest that you have um, a scorecard for getting the job done. And when you've finished at night, just have a look at the scorecard. And guess what? You will feel very good indeed. Because you've achieved. Also, a good tip is delegate. How often we take everything on board. And what happens? We're weighed down too much. But if you delegate, get your friends, your wife, husband, daughter to do something for you, guess what? It makes the load really light and you can get on with the most important things that you want done. Have a system. Now think about it. The clock works by the second, by the minute, by the day, by the month, by the year. It never fails. You have got to get yourself a system and work to that system. And if you do that, guess what? You will succeed. The jobs will be done. Always have a place for everything and everything in its place. Don't have tables full of papers, junk, <coughs> everything else. Have them nice and neatly where they should be. 
And that way you'll save yourself an abundance of time, which is important. But the time of the day, it flies through the air. We'll lose it. Now, if that fails and it doesn't work, guess what? Maybe, just maybe, you've got an attitude problem. And I've got the answer for that as well. It's easy. All you have to do is change your attitude and you change your world. Yeah.